Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He's going to show you what we are reading. For this is the last time the truth will be read. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book. I called on our Lord and Savior years ago. I received a holy book. I've been pursuing the prize. I've really been trying to find someone that know God's word. But it seems as if everybody know everything and don't want to talk about nothing. Oh, Father. The only Father, God. Our Father, God. I pray unto you. It is written. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. And only Father God, please forgive me for not saying Grandfather God, and you are grand, for you gave your only begotten Son. But not only that, the mystery that had been hid in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the creator of everything. That's what you wrote unto us to know. Oh, Jesus, our shepherd shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restore my soul. He leadeth me in a path of righteousness for thy name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, children of God, for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com. I am the runner. I'm running for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children. Open your eyes. This is part four. Open your eyes. This is when our Lord and Savior came and taught us. Welcome, children of God. St. Matthew, the 25th chapter the 31st and the 32nd verse. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. 32nd verse. And before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from the other. As a shepherd divide his sheep from the goats. Open your eyes, children. The Son of Man shall come. Lord God shall gather all nations. And the king shall say unto them on his right hand, Come, 
ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared. From what I read about our Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, Lords of Lords, King of Kings, the author and the finisher, our Father God, that promise he will be a father unto us. I thank the only Father God for our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are going to get into Revelation. This reading is to let us know God's children is going to inherit the kingdom that is prepared for us. The 31st verse, when the Son, when the Son of Man comes, St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, the 27th verse. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then shall reward every man according to his work. Works. Reading the chapter 16, I learned that people look for a sign. For our God let us know about them that look for a sign. St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, the 4th verse. A wicked and adulterer, A-D-U-L-T-E-R-O-U-S, commit adultery. Generation, seek after a sign. Wicked, adulterous generations seek after a sign. And there shall be, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. And he left them and departed. Beware, our Lord wrote, beware of the doctrine of the Pharisees, of the seduce, S-A-D-D-U-C-E-E-S. Read for yourself. It is written, St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, 26th verse. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Open your eyes, children. The 31st verse, it has holy angels, St. Mark. The eighth chapter, the 38th verse. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also the Son of Man be ashamed when he come in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. We are in adulterous and sinful generation, aren't we? Don't you think so? The 31st of Holy Angels, Acts, the 10th chapter, the 22nd verse. And they said, Cornelius, the sentry, a just man, and one that feared God, and of good report among all the nation of the Jews. 
was warned from God by a holy angel to send for thee unto his house and to hear the words of thee. That was Peter. When they told Peter to come to their house to let them know about God. But they argue with Peter about doing that because they said that he went to the heathens. But he told them, God told him to do that. The holy angels. Hear the words of God. The holy angel, the revelation, the 14th chapter, the 10th verse. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. And he shall torment with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel and in the presence of the Lamb. You wonder why he would write that to us so we can be aware, so we can understand what will happen to evil. So if you want to be evil, be evil. This is what's going to happen to you. I'm glad that God's children that fear him will receive the kingdom prepared. That our blessed, that are blessed by only Father God in the nation, anger and annoyance provoked by what is perceived as unfair treatment. Chapter 14, you can read the harvest of the world who believe our Lord God's word. Before him ye shall stand. Romans, the 14th chapter, the 10th verse. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We all shall be judged before the judgment seat of Christ. How do God's children know they are saved? I hear them say, you are saved, but I read, we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Who hope to be saved? If God's children read for themselves, they will know the truth about us. I read, we all come short of glory. Does that mean we need to hope to be saved? Oh, children of God, open your eyes. 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, the 10th verse, 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, the 10th verse. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to what he have done, whether it be good or bad. You will be judged. So don't think you say yet. Because you will be judged. And those that, oh, how I hope for our Lord and Savior to forgive me. I know I come short of glory. Do God's children know we all come short of glory? 
we all will stand before the judgment seat. How then can they say we are saved? Only one can save us. Our Lord and Savior. We cannot save ourselves. Do right or do wrong. We all stand before the judgment seat. Even them that is head of our Lord God house of prayer will stand before our God, just like us. The 32nd verse before him shall revelation the 20th chapter the 12th verse and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their work. If God's children are saved, they do not need to be saved. Me reading God's word and understanding knowledge of the holy book gives you understanding. Yea, now, children of God, we need to learn about our Lord God Almighty because this is our work to learn of him. They don't teach you that, maybe, but I read it to you. In these things he delights. So we learn of him. This is why I say coming to run all God's children, you're coming to the truth that will be read. Not telling you what it means. Not telling you you going to hell. Not telling you how to be. But reading God's word. To prepare you for what is about to happen. Separate them in the verse 2 and 32. That verse, it has separate. Separate them one from another. St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 49th verse. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and serve the wicked from among the just. We are God's seed. Read St. Matthew, the 13th chapter. You can read all the chapters, but the 38th verse. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Remember I told you they come and they sit in God's house and they say, hey Amen, and they right along with you. But he said they won't do it. Reading God's word, you will come up with an understanding of who they are. Because he's going to show you every parable because in 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 St. Matthew the 13th chapter our Lord and Savior when he became the true and living word he taught parable and he, ta he, t he says why he spoke in parable but they asked him what do it means, and that's what he told them about the seeds that were thrown on the stones, on the, on the uh, rocks, and what happened. But then he brings you to tell you 
that the seeds are the children. Every parable that's written, our Lord God explained it. But I hear them teach and say that God's word means, and I have in parenthesis, and called it a parable. And read our Lord God is not, I read, our Lord God is not an author of confusion. That's written. I told a friend of mine, Jesus Christ created all things. Read Ephesians, the third chapter, the ninth verse. Right. He called me a lie. I know how God's children is taught, so it didn't bother me. Because he's told me he teach. But it is written, learn of me. I'm not telling you what it means. I'm not telling you anything. I'm reading God's word and hoping that you will understand what is about to happen and what he's going to show you. I know how God's children are taught. But the world will know that Jesus Christ created all things. Open your eyes. Why would everybody say the Father God is their Father God? Why would Father God say unto you, I will be a father unto you? That's his son. Lord. That's what he wrote to us. In the 32nd chapters and the verse is sheep. The sheep from the goat. Remember reading that. This is Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. And oh boy, you need to read this. The 34th chapter, the 17th, 20th, and the 22nd verse. This is all about the sheep. And as for you, oh, my flock, thus said the Lord God. This is the 17th verse. Behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between rams and the he goat. 20th verse. Therefore, thus said the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle. In the 22nd verse. Therefore, I will save my flock. He's going to save us. Why? 23rd verse. Therefore, will I save my flock. And they shall no more be a prey. And I will judge between cattle and cattle. Why would he have to come and save us? Because we think we know everything. I'm reading God's word and you and people want to think that I'm saying this. I was given my testimony and all I can do is read to you what has happened and what's going to happen. I told you by 2024, God is going to get everybody attention. And you're going to wonder why 
things are going to be so bad. It's because we turn against him. We turn against our God. I don't know how. I don't know what nobody else be saying. I'm telling you what I read. He said, it's written, we turn against him. Why do our Lord God have to reprove the shepherds? In the 34th chapter of Ezekiel, read it. And God judgment against them. Read Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. Learn about our Lord and Savior. He is going to save his flock. And I have read to you and told you that this is written in Ephesians also, the fourth chapter, the 13th and 14th verse. Until we all come in the unity of faith. We know what faith is. That's our Lord and Savior and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every whim of doctrine, by the slage of man and cunning craftness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. I have 15 written down. But speaking the truth in love may grow into him in all things, which is the head even Christ. But speaking in truth, the truth is God. It's Jesus Christ. He's the truth and the light. Love. God is love. The 20th verse but we have not so learned Christ. If so be that we have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Jesus. He's our rock. He our Lord, our God, as he is, is all mine. He's the truth. He's the light that's shining in me and you. He wept and prayed for me and you. He's coming back again. He's going to see us through. No more hatred. Wars of poverty. Our Lord, our God Almighty, coming back for you and me. He's the author, the finisher, beginning and the end. He's our world, only Father God, our only Father God, beloved Son, and He's the one that is, He's going to come. He's coming back for all His children. Oh, sit back. Relax, let me read to you about our Lord, our God, a song mine is a fact, he's coming back, 
it's the fact. But first, the only father told him to sit down. What the father gonna do, he promised. He promised his son he's going to glorify his name. Every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess. He is Lord, he is God, he's a father almighty. Yes, the only father God gave unto us a father. As I said before, and I'm not taking it back, the only father God would make nothing like us, nothing like me, if you don't want to miss it. He made Jesus. Jesus didn't turn against him, but Jesus said that we turned against him. Don't know why, don't know how, but I can understand it. Look at this world. Welcome children to runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is going to show us what we are reading. I just read to you that he's going to take his his flock, that's us. He's going to come back for us. And he's going to take us out of the hand of those that I don't know if it's all. I don't know who they are. But it's written shepherds. So I'm running in the race. All I can do is read to you and hope you understand that I am going to be free. I'm showing everyone the truth will make you free. And all I have to do is read it. That's my testimony. I showed you the book I received. God's word by calling on him. Yeah, I called on him because of my family, because of my friends. And if I keep going on, I start crying about this world. The people I took care of. Oh, no. It's time for him to come and show everybody who I called on, he is going to get this world. But first, I always tell you, and he told you when he came, he got a father. And when you pray, pray, our father. Yeah. Welcome, children, to runallgodschildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. Take care of yourself. As I say, it's going to get rough in a minute. But I hope he keep the children cool. Because as he say, this is the beginning of wisdom. Don't threaten. If you believe, don't threaten. Don't worry about it. It will soon pass. But then worse going to come. <laughs> Take care of yourself.